हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस वी विल डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द शॉर्ट रन एंड द लॉन्ग रन इक्विलिब्रियम आउटपुट इन दिस वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एग्रीगेट सप्लाई इन डिटेल देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट द शॉर्ट रन एंड द लॉन्ग रन इक्विलिब्रियम आउटपुट इन माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स कॉन्टेक्स्ट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द एग्रीगेट सप्लाई कांसेप्ट द मीनिंग एंड द कांसेप्ट ऑफ इट ओके Over here, the meaning of the aggregate is the whole or the total. That is, the total supply or the whole supply is known as the aggregate supply. In simple words, okay. So, aggregate supply is the total supply of what? Of the goods. Total supply of goods and services that is produced. Within an economy, okay, the goods and supply produced within an economy, and it is at given price level, and also at a given period. Okay, so that is known as the aggregate supply. Okay, uh, in other words, aggregate supply is the total amount of goods and services total amount of goods and services that is produced within an economy and that the sellers are willing to sell at a given price level that is called the aggregate supply in other words okay here aggregate supply we have the short run aggregate supply it is denominated as as and we have the long run aggregate supply okay so uh, let's understand it the it with the help of the aggregate supply curve okay we have the aggregate supply curve let's draw a curve itself on the x axis we have the output okay and on the y axis we have the price level okay so aggregate supply curve shows the relationship between the output or the quantity of unit produced in an economy and the nation's price level okay now let's uh, draw the aggregate supply curve as we have discussed we have the aggregate supply in the short run case and in the long run case so in the short run we have the upward sloping aggregate supply curve okay and in the long run this supply curve is vertical okay or it is close to the vertical okay so in the it is a short run aggregate supply curve and it is a long run aggregate supply curve in total it is the aggregate supply curve okay so again in the short run it is upward sloping and in the long run it is vertical or it is close to the vertical okay it shows the positive relationship between the output and the price level okay so this is about the aggregate supply in detail for the aggregate demand go through the lecture at the exam days now let's talk about the short, uh, equilibrium point equilibrium output okay we have the equilibrium output in the short run and in the long run also we will talk in detail about both of this now first let's discuss what is the equilibrium point when we have the equilibrium output point okay so when the aggregate demand intersect with we have the 
short run aggregate supply so uh, ad intersect with the short run aggregate supply and long run aggregate supply then the point is known as the equilibrium point okay that point is known as the equilibrium point okay so we have the short run and long run first let's discuss the short run equilibrium output short run equilibrium output okay uh, when there is any change in the uh, aggregate supply or the aggregate demand then the equilibrium point of in the curve will also change okay so let's uh, start with there is any change in if there is any change in the aggregate demand okay so let's say aggregate demand is increasing then what happened to the equilibrium point? Let's understand it with the help of a graph. Here we have a graph of the when there is any change in the uh, increase in the aggregate demand. Okay. So when there is increase in the aggregate demand, the real output will also become higher. It is increasing. Okay. It is increasing. The increase is greater than the consistent level of the full employment okay and uh, why it happened it happens because the price level differs from the anticipated price level okay price level over here is differs from the anticipated price level and therefore it happens okay here the price is increasing and when uh, there is increase in the aggregate demand, we have the right shift of the aggregate demand curve. It become it uh, shifts from AD1 to AD2. Okay. And here the price is also increasing and the output will also increasing. Okay. Here we have the upward pressure of the resource prices and therefore if it is continue uh, and we have the upward pressure of the resource prices in the long run it will lead to the decrease in the aggregate demand okay it happens in the long run okay so this is about when the aggregate demand will increasing now let's talk about when the aggregate demand is decreasing okay when the aggregate demand decreases then we have the it causes the excess supply demand is decreasing and the supply is higher then it will cause the excess supply of the resources okay and when the supply is higher and demand is lower we have the decline is price decline in prices of the output okay uh, let's understand it with the help of a graph, we can show it from a graph that the price, uh, in case when there is a decrease in the aggregate demand, these shifts it shifts left, okay, and uh, there is decrease in the aggregate demand, the output will also decrease and the price will also decrease as the demand is lower aggregate demand is lower the price is also decreasing okay so it is about when the aggregate demand is in decreasing okay this is about the change in the aggregate demand now what happened to the equilibrium point when there is any change in the aggregate supply let us discuss it Okay. Let's say if the aggregate supply is decreasing, first take and uh, take the uh, change in the aggregate supply as it is decreasing. Okay. So what happened when the aggregate supply is decreasing? Okay. Let's see it and understand it with the help of a graph. Okay. When the aggregate supply is decreasing, then we have the lower availability of resources. Okay. Of resources. 
एंड इन दिस केस दग्रीगेट सप्लाय कव विल शिफ्ट लेफ्ट एंड अपवर्ड ओके Here we can see it. It shifts left side and it is upward shifting. Okay, and in this case we have the lower output that the output is decreasing and the price is how higher. Okay, so we have the lower output at higher prices. Okay, when there is decrease in the aggregate supply. Here we are discussing the short run uh, short run equilibrium point. So we have the short run aggregate supply curve. Okay. If it is a temporary phenomenon, then there is uh, no change in the uh, supply curve in the long run. But if the cause is very important and it is a permanent phenomenon, then the same will happen in the long run also with the supply aggregate supply curve. Okay. Now. If uh, there is increase in the aggregate supply, okay. If there is increase in the aggregate supply, we have the graph like this. Okay. Here, when the aggregate supply will increase in, okay, aggregate uh, supply will increase in, then we have the right shift. Okay, right shift in the. Uh, Aggregate supply curve, then the price is decreasing and the output will also increasing. So here in this case, we have the more output at less prices. Okay, and as the aggregate supply is increasing, the availability of resources is higher. Okay, we have the more number of output. And the less prices. Okay, so this is when there is any change in the aggregate supply and aggregate demand in case of the short run. Now let's discuss a case when we have the long run equilibrium output. Okay, long run equilibrium output. What happened when the long run equilibrium? possible when, uh, when there is uh, intersection of ab short run aggregate supply curve and long run aggregate supply curve then we have the long run equilibrium output okay let's see it in the graph here we have the long run equilibrium output graph here it is the ad curve it is las and it is sas okay so At this point, this all uh, this all three curves are intersecting, and this point is known as the equilibrium point. And it is the long run equilibrium point. Okay. Okay. Over here, the real GDP is at its potential. Real GDP is at its potential output. And therefore, any change in the aggregate demand curve, change in aggregate demand curve, lead to the change in price only, price level only. Okay. So let's say if there is upward shift, a right shift in the aggregate demand curve. Let's say it is here. Okay. And or let's say there is a left shift in the aggregate demand curve. So it will change in the price only. If it is the right shift, then the price will increase. It will over here, so the price will increase. And if the aggregate shift, uh, demand curve is uh, towards the left shift, then the price will decrease. Okay, only this change will occur. In these long run equilibrium case, we have the un unemployment, unemployment at. Unemployment is equal to the natural rate of the unemployment, okay, and the price level is also at the anticipated level. Okay, so this is about the long run equilibrium output. Okay, I hope 
the concept is clear for you in the next class we will discuss about the excess and the deficient demand so stay tuned